Widdled Ripczynski's Home, A Short History of an Idea, delves into the fascinating evolution of the concept of home. This thought-provoking exploration of human habitation spans centuries and cultures, uncovering the intricate layers of what makes a house a home. Ribczynski commences by tracing the origins of the modern Western house, a product of the Enlightenment era and its emphasis on individualism. He argues that the contemporary house reflects both our personal desires and societal influences. Ribczynski invokes architectural history and philosophy to illustrate how homes evolved from mere shelters into complex extensions of our identities. Through this historical lens, the book raises critical questions about the role of architecture in shaping our lives. The book's strength lies in its ability to interweave historical context with personal anecdotes. Ribczynski skillfully shares his experiences, such as designing and building his own home, adding a relatable human touch to the narrative. His deep involvement in the subject matter is evident, and it draws the reader into his journey of self-discovery through architecture. Ribczynski sheds light on the ever-changing concept of home by exploring its significance in different historical periods. He takes readers on a journey through various architectural styles, from the cozy rooms of the Victorian era to the open spaces of mid-century modernism. This historical context illustrates how homes mirror societal values, reflecting the prevailing norms of each era. One of the book's central themes is the tension between tradition and innovation. Ribczynski recognizes the importance of tradition in creating a sense of home. He argues that the aesthetics and layout of our homes are often rooted in historical precedent. Yet, he also acknowledges the role of innovation in shaping modern homes, especially as technology has dramatically transformed the way we live. This dichotomy between the past and the future forces readers to consider their own homes in a new light. Ribczynski's discussion of the role of architecture in shaping domestic life is particularly insightful. He points out that architecture goes beyond aesthetics, it influences how we interact with our surroundings and with one another. The layout of our homes can foster community or isolation, and the book encourages readers to reflect on how their own spaces impact their daily lives. The author's exploration of the concept of home extends to its global dimensions. He takes readers on a journey around the world, revealing how different cultures and climates have influenced architectural styles and the meaning of home. From the compact homes of Japan to the communal courtyards of Morocco, Ribczynski shows that the idea of home is as diverse as humanity itself. Home also delves into the idea of simplicity and minimalism in modern home design. Ribczynski discusses the rise of minimalism and the rejection of excess, reflecting contemporary desires for a more balanced and sustainable life. He suggests that, in this age of information overload and consumerism, a simpler and more functional approach to living spaces can offer a sense of solace and control. However, the book doesn't just paint a rosy picture of home, it also addresses its downsides. Ribczynski touches on the challenges of maintaining a home, the stress of renovation, and the emotional weight tied to places of personal significance. This realistic portrayal of the complexities of home life adds depth to the narrative. In conclusion, Home, A Short History of an Idea, is a captivating journey through the evolution of the concept of home. Widdled Ripczynski skillfully weaves history, personal experiences, and philosophical insights to create a thought-provoking exploration of the spaces we inhabit. The book forces readers to reconsider their own homes and the profound influence they have on our lives. Ribczynski's work serves as a reminder that our homes are not just physical structures, they are repositories of our memories, reflections of our values, and the canvas upon which we paint the story of our lives.